Hello everyone and welcome to the Race Monkey. We have the Scorpio Classic here with us and this has been launched after the Scorpio when Mahindra wanted to retain the hardcore old school Scorpio for the enthusiasts and the tier 2 tier 3 markets. Now this has had quite a big fan following in reality and on the reel as well where Rohit Shetty has been blowing it up in multiple of his films. Now this one gets a few mechanical tweaks as well as some cosmetic tweaks as well especially on the inside. So we're gonna talk you through all of them. Let's go around the car, get inside it and talk you through all of those changes in this video today. So let us start off with the exterior of the Scorpio Classic. This quintessentially is a takeaway from the previous generation of the Scorpio. Mahindra has chosen to retain the basic elements and add on a few quirks to make it a fresher car. Now we have this LED DRL over here as an add-on which does make it look a little premium. We have the PPG paint which gives a very BMW glass it kind of a finish. Looks extremely, extremely good. Now, not to forget, Mahindra has changed the logo to its Twin Peaks logo that you get in the XUV700 as well as the Scorpio N, which does make the outlook of the Scorpio Classic a little more modern and it does not give you an appeal of commercial cars that Mahindra makes. Now, there is a dual tone diamond cut alloy wheel setup over here as well in the S11 trim. They look quite handsome indeed and they do get the Twin Peak logo which has been blackened out and is very very discreet. Now there are these silver elements over here and on the door panels as well which I don't really like but if you do have the money you would spec it to be darker or blacked out or chromed out as you get in the accessories list at the back now we have an urban <laughs> sitting at the back seat Go enjoy. <laughs> there's quite a lot of space now we'll talk you through about the interiors in just a bit typical mahindra scorpio thud when you shut the doors and the paint quality has improved substantially. Now at the back, it's the similar situation of how the Scorpio was before. We've just added the reflectors over here, which gives it an appeal of the first generation of the Scorpio that was launched back in 2002. We have the side step and the step knee at the bottom, besides the exhaust pipe which protrude out from the side. You have the micro hybrid badge over here, signifying the start stop 48 volt system that this Scorpio has. Scorpio Classic. This Classic badge is made to look pretty old school and it does look great. This is the S11 version, so it has the S11 badge. You get the Scorpio Classic in the basic S trim or the S11, which is showcased over here. Now. From this angle, when there is light reflecting onto the body, you can see the clarity and the sheen in the paintwork, which does make it quite a significant car. Now, on this side, we have the black color, which has been supplied from the same vendor, which is the Asian PPG. And you have a very sublime, texture and you know pearlescent effect over here and this car has not been detailed as such for this show but the black shade which is one of the most popular shades in this copy lineup does look significantly better with the upgrade in the paint quality now let's get inside and talk you through what all has been changed on the inside of the scorpio classic On the inside of the Scorpio Classic, 
its quintessential Scorpio. This is what we are all familiar with, especially the Scorpio owners of yesteryears, and it retains the essence of what a great rough road Scorpio should be like. Now, on the interiors, nothing has changed much, but there are a few tweaks done to this cabin to make it feel a little more special. Starting with these half quilted seats, which do get a softer upholstery and they are great for the Indian summers because these are fabric seats. Leatherette seats are not really the best when you have to go the distance to places which are a little remote. So great on maintenance and great on comfort as well. You get individual armrest for both the driver and the passenger and they are adjustable for height and you can get really comfortable in this cabin. Now there is a seat height adjustment as well and for my 5 feet 8 inch structure this is the perfect space to be in. The steering gets a rake adjustment, there is no reach adjustment in this but what makes it even more special with the outlook of how you see the Scorpio is this Twin Peaks logo on the steering wheel. Now I've always loved how the Scorpio logo looked before but just to make it more premium this brand identity is great. You also get an Android system which is an 8 inch touchscreen, does the job pretty well, has integrated Google Maps on board, does not have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay as such right now but I guess with software updates this could get those hardwares as well. Now the major major change over here is this shift selector. The Scorpio Classic gets the 6-speed manual transmission which is now drive-by-wire and it's not a hydraulic unit anymore. Now this is the same shift lever taken off from the Mahindra Thar and the current Scorpio N and it looks very premium. This won't vibrate when you're changing your gears or you're driving at a higher RPM. This will remain as it is so it just ups the entire quotient. Also the shift quality it's pretty good as well. The throws are pretty short, which makes it a very ergonomic experience. Otherwise, this cabin feels really good. Let's get on the back seat and tell you more about it. Now here in the second row of the Scorpio Classic, things are equally good, just with an added flair. Now, the seats have always been very comfortable and a lot of people have vouched for the comfort levels on this chair. Now, you do get a nifty mobile holder over here. You have a magazine pocket over here with the mobile holder. There is a good amount of recline that you can achieve with this back seat and you can slide it forward to give more room to the third row passengers or move all the way back if you just have some luggage kept at the back and want to stretch out your legs and relax for a bit. The headrests are also quite wide and they are now quilted just like the half quilted seat backs and base which does create a sense of premiumness. Now I really like the back seat of the Scorpio in all generations and in this one it's just added up that extra bit of flavor. Now you've got good amount of headroom just like the old Scorpio and it can accommodate a person who's as tall as 6 feet 10 inches tall and a massive window area to look out and have a good amount of light creep through inside the cabin which is already very light. You do feel quite airy inside this cabin. What makes it even airier is this gap between the captain seats where you can just shove your children and people to the third row without them rubbing their thighs and calf muscles onto the armrest of the seats. There is quite a lot of space at the back of the Scorpio Classic. Now let's get back to the all-important third row which is quite a sore point in the Scorpio N. Let's see what happens better in that space in the Scorpio Classic. Now here in the third row of the Scorpio Classic it's not really the most comfortable space for an adult like me who's 5 feet 8 inches tall to be in. But if you compare it to other cars in its segment and also the Scorpio N, it feels comfortable enough. 
The backrest is a little upright, but not something which is very uncomfortable. Now this seat has been taken all the way forward to its frontmost position, and I have just about okay-ish place to spread my legs. Although because there is a good amount of space between these two captain seats, I can stretch my left leg a little bit and sit in a little tilted position which can keep me in a relatively comfortable position. But what adds up to the comfort quotient really on this third row of the seat is number one, this little latch which opens up the third window which creates a bit of ventilation for the third row and does not let you feel very hot over here. And secondly, you have a central armrest in the third row. How very luxurious is that? Now, if you are the only person sitting in the third row and you have some bags besides you, you can just stretch on like this and have a nice nap. So this technically is a comfortable space enough to carry your friends and your family around. But the last row is going to be luxurious for your kids. They have an armrest in the third row. Which other car does that? Let us know in the comments below. So under the hood, the all-important change happens in the engine bay. Now this is the generation 2 of the m Hawk diesel engine which is quite popular amongst all the cars in the Mahindra lineup. Now this one gets a lower power and torque figures. This is rated at 130 bhp and 300 newton meters of torque. But because of the lighter weight on the engine, this has been reduced by 55 kilos this actually becomes a greater deal when it comes to power to weight ratios. Now there is a lot of weight saving that has happened within this mechanical setup as well as the structural point of view. So the power to weight ratio actually is better than what it was before. Now Mahindra also claims a 14% increase in fuel efficiency figures but for that we will have to take this car out on the highway and do our all important fuel economy test. I'm betting somewhere around 30 kilometers to the litre on this one because of the lower power and lesser weight than the other cars in Mahindra's lineup. Now the packaging is done in a very good way. I really like this engine cover over here which has a bit of a carbon fiber insert look-alike on it. Otherwise the engine bay is clean. More importantly you also get hydraulic struts on both the sides and a good amount of insulation under the hood which does make the engine a little more quieter and helps with the overall NBH of the Scorpio Classic. In this segment, I haven't seen such a clean packaging in the engine. What do you think about it? So what will you choose? All these pseudo SUVs that are available in the market or the Scorpio Classic? Mahindra definitely has an edge over its competition when it comes to pricing and the packaging as well. The Scorpio Classic would be no different. Although the prices of this will be revealed on the 25th of this month, but I'm pretty sure that this would still be a winner because there's a lot of demand for a ladder on frame, hardcore SUVs which do the job without any fuss and a lot of problems that all these modern SUVs are having otherwise. Big bets on the Scorpio Classic and I really hope Mahindra does keep on getting great numbers in terms of sales and in terms of aspirational value for this car. Hope you liked the video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, do let us know what do you think about the Scorpio Classic? Would you consider this over the pseudo SUVs? Let us know in the comments. For now, thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon.